I'll show you how to do a, uh, a recipe uh, using Recipress. Uh, if you have the Recipress plugin and you do recipes on your website. Okay, so I'm using as an example the excellent Monday Morning Cooking Club.com.au website. And as you can see, Lisa is, uh, is currently editing this post, but she knows that I'm doing this, so we'll all be fine. Okay, now, so what you have is you've got your title of your, uh, of your, of your uh, recipe, and then you've got a description. Now, th th this, uh, this group here just does a, an excellent job of, of, of writing detailed descriptions with everything they do. Okay, and if you've got the recipe, recipe press plugin, you've got a recipe here um, where you've got add recipe. You'll see that on every post. And then what you've got is the title of the recipe and the recipe summary, okay? And then what, she, what uh, she's done is uh, she's got all the different types of uh, foods, okay? The courses, whether it's a beginner, uh, the skill level, whether you're beginner, intermediate, advanced, how many servings, it yields one tray, Preparation time 20, cook time 75 minutes. Okay, there's no other time added there. And then and then what she's got is the ingredients, and, and she's done this fantastically. Uh, you know, very detailed information. And then, then we've got the instructions, the step-by-step -step instructions to create this gorgeous dish. And so what you've got is you've got detailed instructions every step of the way, okay? What she could do is, if she wanted to, she could add uh, an image for each one of those in, uh, step by steps, okay? Um, now, there's two ways that these are output. These are outputted automatically or by a short code. And a short code is a little bit of code that you put in the HTML section if you've got it set to, to that. And you put the recipe. And that way you can control, can control where the recipe appears within the post. If you're just writing a recipe with a brief description and, and nothing like the depth of what this, this site's doing, then you would just have it automatically posted. But because they, they uh, have some depth in it, um, in, in the description, then it's best for them to put the short code in, like they've done here. So we'll actually have a look at, uh, at, um, at this post again. And just one thing to note, you'll see that uh, at the moment they've got the, the video uh, playing as the, as the, with the embed code. So you've got a video at the top. So we'll have a look at how this post outputs. So look at this. You've got the video at the top. You've got the um, title and then this beautiful description. And then you've got the recipe. And then they've got some further information below that. Okay. So what we're going to do is... Uh, for this client, we're going to actually take that video and actually put it within the post, okay? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put this video uh, just here. And so the feature image will, will appear at the top. So let's do that now. So what you've got is you've got the YouTube uh, video. So what I want to do is I want to go to YouTube and you'll see the little YouTube logo come up and that takes me to YouTube. And then what I wanted to click on share Today we're doing and then cuts. embed. And I'm just going to pause that video. Now I want a custom width, which is 540 pixels for this site, which will automatically see that automatically change it. If I said 640, and it depends the width of your content area. And I use uh, a measure it tool from uh, a Google uh, measure it tool, which gives you an idea of what the width is of your page. Okay, this is actually 540, the width of, of your content area. So you want to have the video go to the full width. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, copy this, and then we're going to remove the frame from there so that it will use the feature image as the main image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this video in here. And I'm just going to put a little HR code here just to separate the content, okay? And then I'm gonna click um, save. And now we're gonna look at the post again and you'll notice now that the feature image has the image of the product and the video appears within the page. There you go. 
So that's how you put a, embed a video within the page and have the, look at that gorgeous, that looks yummy. There you go. So that's how you can embed it within the page um, and have the feature image as the, as the main image, okay, which is a pretty big one, but that's the way it is. So that's how you use Recipress. Um, again, you'll see that it's, it's beautifully done, um, and if you need any more help, you just let me know.